Now, this might change, but the best possible run defense in the game right now is any cover zero, and that's because you can run commit every single play with no penalty. If I run commit, all of these defenders will run commit if it's an actual run play. If it's a pass play, they won't, though. Now, if I select a run play, the second the play starts, the safeties, the cornerbacks, they all leave their assignments and go straight for the backfield. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. Run defense can be hard in College Football 25. In fact, it might be one of the things that people struggle with the most. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about run defense in College Football 25. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go get right into the video. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to match personnel. So if your opponent comes out in a two tight end set, you're going to want to try to match with something like a 3-4 or a 4-3 or a larger defense so that you can try to match the size. Now, if you're up late in a game, obviously there's less of a chance that your opponent's going to want to run. They're probably going to want to pass, especially if you're up like a touchdown or two. In these scenarios, you don't necessarily have to worry about that as your opponent will most likely have to pass to get back into the game. Next up, it's important to know the strengths and weaknesses of individual defenses because that can really help when it comes to stopping the run. Cover 3 is probably the best base defense when it comes to stopping run plays because you have an extra defender in the box. But it still can be weak to the outside because the cornerbacks drop back. So if your opponent's running a lot of stretch runs, you'll notice that the cornerback typically isn't very effective in helping out to the outside. The same can be said about cover four defenses as the cornerbacks drop back the same way, whether it's cover four match or cover four regular. You'll notice that in both these defenses, the cornerbacks typically drop back after the snap, making them less effective in run support to the outside. But even though the cornerbacks drop back, these safeties drop down and play the run like extra linebackers as long as you don't guess pass. As you can see, this guy here makes a tackle three yards down the field, making this the best defense for inside run plays. The best run defense for outside run plays would be cover two zone, especially cover two hard flats because these cornerbacks typically play outside side and try to turn you back inside which is what you want your run defense to do cover two is also the weakest inside run defense because these safeties drop back the furthest after the play starts making them the least effective in run support against inside runs so now that we know the strength and weakness of each individual defense you're going to want to keep them in your audible plays so now if i think my opponent's going to run outside i'll hit them with a tampa two if i think they're going to run inside i'll hit them with a cover for quarters and if i'm not really sure whether they're going to run inside or outside i can just basically go with a cover three and hard flat so that I kind of have the best of both worlds and I can really defend a play no matter what. Now this might change but the best possible run defense in the game right now is any cover zero and that's because you can run commit every single play with no penalty. I personally think this is a glitch, but I had a lot of people uh, in a video that I put out recently where I talked about this say that it wasn't a glitch based off the fact that man cover defenders just watch their receiver, but I'm going to show you why I think it is here in a minute. So let's go and let's pick a random cover zero play, and on offense, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick a pass play. Now, I'm not 100% sure why it's programmed like this, but when it comes to man zero blitz, if I run commit, which is hitting RB, R1, and down the right stick... All of these defenders will run commit if it's an actual run play. If it's a pass play, they won't, though. So go ahead and watch the safeties and the cornerbacks. You'll see right there. They drop back after the play starts, more specifically the safety on the tight end, which I'll go to the replay to highlight. It's possible they're acting like this because they're designed to watch their, the receiver that they're covering, but you're going to see in a moment how I get a completely different reaction when it's an actual run play. Now if I select the run play and we do the exact same thing, you're going to see the exact same safety make no attempt to cover the receiver, and he's going to go right after the running back as he drops down to a dead sprint to basically stop the play and you can see here the second the play starts the safeties the cornerbacks they all leave their assignments and go straight for the backfield so you know that the run commit is taking place so to me this is a glitch some people think that man defenders are coached to only cover to only watch their receiver i don't think that's necessarily true based on the fact that, like i said the run commit here just kicks in the second the play starts so i think personally that this is probably a glitch because there was a glitch like this in the past in previous years of madden i don't know if it's going to get patched or not i don't know if this is by design but if it is by design you can always run commit from man zero every single play and if it's a pass play, they'll cover their assignments. But if it's a run play, they'll go straight after the running back, making this probably the best run defense, whether it's inside or out, based on the fact that run commit is the best run defense in the game. Now that we know the strength and weakness of each individual type of defense, the next thing we have to do is make sure that we control our gaps and have outside leverage on every single play. So I'm going to pick a random cover three. And then on offense, 
I'm going to try to pick random run plays. When it comes to run defense, if you're spread too far apart or you have a small def uh, defensive front, it's going to invite your opponent to run inside and they're going to get easy runs. If you're pinched too much to take away these gaps, a lot of times this will get your opponent to be able to run outside too much because these guys can get blocked to the edge. So typically what you want to do is you want to have something where you pinch the defensive line, which is deep pad to the left and down. And then I also like to spread the linebackers, which is deep pad to the right and up and now you can see i have an alignment where you can't run straight ahead because those there's no gaps there to run and you can't run outside because these guys will typically have outside containment which means that they're gonna you know i have a, a defender a box defender wider than their tackles or wider than their tight ends so now that i have that this is the best run defense that i can set up other than hard flatting which can also help to keep them down low to the line of scrimmage but this is as good as it's gonna get i still have two gaps but since i know where those gaps are as you can see the outside uh you know the box safety takes care of that even though i know where even though i know i have gaps i know where the gaps are so if they want to try to run to it i can just meet them there in the box so basically here once again now we have a three tight end look this is a little bit more difficult so this is something where i might want to try to manually bring this guy out but like i said i know where the biggest hole is so if they try to run there i just have to fill and if i start from a distance this far back you can see how once again this running back is going nowhere he's going for a loss as the cover three uh, box safety once again makes the play so you always want to try to have inside gap control and you always want to try to have outside leverage and if you can do that you'll typically have an easy time stopping runs another trick that you can do so that you get don't get picked up when it comes to actually playing the run is stay back about nine yards before the play starts and you'll notice that the offensive lineman won't target you making it a lot easier for you to, to run down the lane as you can see right there i didn't actually make the play 91 made the play but i was definitely not blocked by the time that i got in to where the running back was. You can see right here, nobody ever really picks me up. I'm not really targeted by the lineman because of how far back I start. And I do get in on the tackle as 70 here just completely misses me and takes the other linebacker. And that's because I started the playback so far, making me less of a priority, but I still got in on the tackle. So if you expect your opponent to run, just start the playback further. And you'll see how a lot of times you can shoot gaps a lot easier based off the fact that you're just so far away. Next up, if you're having trouble tackling, and I know a lot of people are, there is something in your options menu that can help. So go to options and go to settings and then scroll all the way down to this section here. It says gameplay helpers. And if you've never been into this section before, this is probably how it looks as your defensive heat seeker assist is typically off, but this can be very helpful when it comes to making tackles in the open field. As it says, defensive heat seeker assist user controlled defenders are steered towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them. So you definitely want to turn that on as it creates like a magnetism that will help pull you into whoever is carrying the ball. You also want to change your defensive heat seeker window size as this will increase the rate of that same type of magnetism that you're getting from the ball carrier from 100% all the way up to 200%, which most people probably don't even know that you can do. And this will really assist when it comes to making tackles. I did a full video of all the things you can change in the gameplay helper section and in the settings. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have the on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Next, I want to go over tackling itself as there's multiple ways to tackle here. X is a dive tackle, A is a breakdown tackle, and the right stick is either your cut or your hit stick, depending on what direction you hit it. Now, the best way to tackle in this game, especially combined with the settings change that we just made, is the breakdown tackle. As using this function with Heat Seeker Assist is definitely the easiest way to get tackles. So all you have to do is spam the A or X button, if, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, once it gets close to the ball carrier. As spamming this button will help to pull you closer to the running back, but it'll also help if you get a tackle battle pop up, as the A button or the X button is the only thing that pops up every single time, making it much easier to get tackles in the open field. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more tip videos on defense or about the game settings that you could change to make this game easier i'll have those videos popping up on screen so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below